I'm here in Moorhead, Minnesota. This is Rustica Eatery and Tavern. Our fingerling poutine. We're gonna braise all this? Yeah. First, we gotta whack it into hunks. Give it a good amount of salt and pepper. Sear it in a pan over high heat. We'll hit all four sides. We'll set up our braising pan. Oregano, thyme, bay leaf. Add in the seared meat. You're serious. I'm serious. The mirepoix, whole garlic cloves. Salt. Tomato guts. Red wine. Chicken stock. And a lot of red chili fight. We call it chili braised beef. And how long we're gonna roast that off? At least four hours. At least. Shredding enough tender, but not completely mushy. Correct. Strain the jus, reduce it, and pour it over the shredded meat. What are we doing past this? We'll make some beef gravy to serve on the side. We got blended oil, onions, oregano, thyme, tomato paste, salt and pepper. Red wine to deglaze. Naturally. Nice facial from that. Chicken stock, beef base, balsamic vinegar, chili flake. Tamari. Simmer, strain, add the roux, and it's finished. Last but not least, what? Fingerling potatoes okay. that have been fried, crispy. Put the chili beef over the top with Mahon cheese. Mahon hooda. It's a cow's milk cheese covered in paprika rind. Move that to the salamander. Transfer it to a serving plate. A little parsley, bacon, roasted garlic, and then the gravy. <laughs> this right here, I don't even know if calling it poutine is the right thing to do because it's a very elevated poutine. Going to a regular French fried potato would have been simple. You take it and mix it up and throw in the fingerlings, which is the royalty of potatoes. Well, diamond.